Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the lands of the Netherlands, where we... Well, this is the first episode I'm recording of the day, so bear with me. Let's see. Keeping an eye on my hard drive. It looks okay. Yeah. All right. Well, as long as it's good, we're good to go. Uh, I need to try to figure out where the heck we left off. We currently have diplomats fabricating in Madurai. We're going to have to attack him somewhat soon. Which means we're going to need, like, 30 troops over here or something with his 11 tech. It's actually not bad tech. That is not bad tech. Bomanis, do you want to be my protectorate? No. Oh, because of base tax. Okay. Oh, he has a vassal. You won't do it because you have a vassal. Yeah, if I could protectorate some of India, that'd be nice. Distance between borders. Okay. Well, we'll find a way to do it. But yeah, I should go eat someone like Cathawar, who has no allies. Ooh. If only I could fabricate on him, but I can't. Damn. That's okay. We're going to go eat some of Madurai, and I believe we have a claim on Siok. We have one. We have one. We have two claims on Siok. All right. I think we should get more claims here. I want to eat part of Siok, and then peace out. Relax for a bit. We need to go to war with Malacca and make him release... Who was that again? Keda or Ligor. Either way. And we should also go to war with Brunei to make him release some stuff. He's winning a war against Majapahi. Look at this. He's landed troops on Majapahi. What is this? Majapahi... Oh, it's a defensive war for Brunei. Brunei is winning. Well, maybe our goal will be to eat up Brunei then. Or uh, Majapahi first. I don't know. Uh, where's the important centers of trade over here? Let's see... There's one in Makassar and Kalapa. Makassar and Kalapa down there. And then up here, it's Pasai, Malacca, and Brunei. Now, unfortunately, Malacca and Brunei are capitals, but I can at least take Pasai. These all count for trade companies, right? Yeah, these all count for trade companies. Okay. Oh, even the Philippines counts. Sweet. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of trade company stuff out here. Twitch Chat was pointing out that uh, the Gulf of Aden does not count as a trade company. That's too bad. But we'll make do. We also need to make sure we keep fabricating on Melindy. We have one more to go, right? Yeah, one more to go on Melindy. I guess we could make him our protectorate, but... No, I think I'm just going to eat him. Just, just eat him. How's the revolt risk doing anyway? Let's see, revolt risk, 5%. Why is this not organized by highest revolt risk to lowest? It's just a random order. Thuringia at 5%. Is that because of conversion? No, Thuringia is just pissed. Uh, Westphalen, Nassau, okay. Bum, 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 bum. No exhaustion. And we have an advisor. Yeah, we have a national revolt risk advisor. Hmm. It's kind of surprising that we have so much revolt risk up here. Is it just nationalism, or what's causing this shit? Like, Thuringian, I remember I lowered the autonomy there, so I, I understand that. Uh, but what about Westphalen? Why do you have revolt risk? Oh, autonomy decreased is still a thing. Oh, religious disunity and overextension. It's overextension. So we need to finish these cores, Kajamarka. And we can't actually finish our cores, because our colony needs to finish his cores first. And you can't see coring progress on colonies for some reason. You just can't. Look at that. You can't see the coring progress. You can see progress when they're doing religious conversion. And you can see progress when they're doing cultural conversion. But you can never see progress when they're doing cores. Oh, well. Hopefully they'll finish soon-ish. So we can start coring that stuff. Hmm. What else are we up to? We're at six out of six relationships. Which are Vassal Burgundy, Alliance France, Vassal Aachen... Alliance Bavaria, Alliance Castile, and Alliance Russia. We have four really, really good allies. I'm not really keen about Bavaria, but he is a regional power. And if we don't have Brandenburg, the Hansa, or the Commonwealth, we might as well have Bavaria, since Bavaria is the emperor right now. Although it looks like he may not hold on to his emperorship. Brandenburg's voting for themselves. Bohemia and Ferrara are voting Austria. Hmm. And Trier is actually voting for Milan. Hmm. Oh, wow. Milan's allied to the Commonwealth and France. Damn. All right. How are we on loans? Have we repaid? We don't have any loans. Okay. And, um, yeah. 
We're losing... That's a lot. Is that millions? Let's see. Hundreds, thousands. Yeah, we're losing two million ducats a month. Sounds legit. It, it'll correct itself when we unpause. We have 212 trade ships on the English Channel node. That's, that's a lot. Holy shit, that's a lot. France, for instance, has 29. I'm sorry, 31. France has 31 ships. We have 212 on the same node. We're just dominant. How are we on the Lubeck node? We're doing okay, but we could do better. On the Lubeck node, we have 61 ships. We really need to eat. <laughs> we really need to eat the uh, important centers of trade over here. It's, it's insane. The Hansa has all of it. He's got Sealand, Hamburg, and Lubeck. Those provinces are so freaking important. Hamburg, 83. Wow. You know, maybe we should just fabricate on Hamburg and just take it. Or make him release Hamburg. Make him release Hamburg. That core will be there for another three years. And his allies are pretty crap. So if I declare on Oldenburg, who would join that war? That would be perfect. So why don't we go ahead and fabricate on Oldenburg. Wait, do I need to fabricate? I probably do. Let's see, conquest, colonialism, overseas. Yeah, I'd have to fabricate on Oldenburg. Okay. So fabricate on Oldenburg, declare on Oldenburg, make the Hansa release Hamburg, and then I can take Hamburg for myself. Sounds like a good plan. And before I declare that war, I could release Denmark as a vassal, right? If I release Denmark as a vassal, then I can feed Sealand to my vassal. That is a good point. And Schleswig. Oh, but Denmark has national traditions. Fuck, he took aristocratic, so he would be it would take a long time to annex Denmark. Okay, maybe we maybe we don't do that. Well, in any case, uh, a decent plan would be to, to take Hamburg, because that's just so, 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 so much trade money coming in. So far the hard drive looks good, and I'm sorry for rambling on for seven and a half minutes before we start, but first time back in today, so I'm a little disoriented, shall we say. And besides, I like to talk. You know me. I'm a talker. Sweden wants an alliance. Really? Holy shit, Sweden. Really? That's quite surprising. And he's two techs behind me, too. Why are you so far behind on tech? Commonwealth is three techs behind. Wow. Okay, then. We've discovered something. Oh, we finished a colony. Nice. Inhambane is done. And I think we did have a settler there. Yes, we did. So we have to find a nice, a new, new place to put the settler. I'm tempted to go Natal, but it's just a base one tax. Maybe we just ignore Natal. Maybe we should go uh, along the coast over here. Or down here. So many natives, though. Oh, four base tax. Uh, four base tax is probably worth it, but maybe we should consider focusing... Oh, yeah, we do need to take this... Oh, yeah, yeah, we have to go up here. No, we have to. Now, this will allow Castile to colonize... to get a colonial nation in uh, Louisiana zone, because this is all colonial Louisiana. So he can still colonize one more province to get Colonial Louisiana uh, colony, and then my colony will hopefully kill his colony, etc. We're almost... No, we're not done. Almost over there. It scares me that France is now impeding on us. But look at that. He's only getting 65 a year. We're getting 135 per year. That's crazy difference. Still got a long way to go in Canada. And... Oh, right. We could declare on these guys. But I don't want to declare on these guys until my vassal has finished his, or my colony has finished his cores, and he needs to get rid of his revolt risk, man. He's converted everything to reformed, which is great. Uh, he accepts English, which is great. Oh, he's he's converting, he's culture converting these guys. He's culture converting the English lands to Dutch. Yeah, we are currently working on making Dutch the primary culture. Wow. Okay. I mean, it's something to spend your points on, I guess. 
Okay, fine. Yeah, we need to sail some ships over here so we can attack Madurai. We're going to have to do that somewhat soon. I'm also concerned about these 80% Habio Nationalists, but they haven't spawned yet, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. You know what, let's just go to India, because Mutapa hasn't spawned yet. Mutapa hasn't rebelled. Actually, no, they did, didn't they? They rebelled instantly. Right, so we have recent uprising. For six years, they can't rebel again. Well, that's kind of nice. The Tulip Mania! Whoa! The Tulip was introduced to Europe in the 1550s from the Ottoman Empire. They quickly became popular among rich merchants in the Netherlands as a luxury item. The market grew, and in 1634, when demand increased in France, speculators entered the market. In 1636, a futures market was created. For tulips? Huh. The result was bankruptcy. Whoa. Gain 10 inflation, or lose stability and get national unrest for 10 years. I think I'm going to take the 10 inflation. We're just going to have to make sure we have enough points to knock it down. And we don't have enough points. Oh, goodness. The problem with 10 inflation is it pretty much instantly gives you an event which adds, I think, 8 more inflation. And it's just awful. You don't want that. But losing stability and getting plus 3 national revolt risk for 10 years is bad. Really, really, really bad. Um, how long can I avoid this and how many points? We're only getting 3 points per month. only getting three points per month there's no way we can do that if we take the inflation we're gonna be at 10.85 ah oh, Jesus okay looks like we're losing the stability then damn that sucks national unrest plus three that is oh national unrest plus three that is just so bad Look at all these rebels that want to spawn now. So for 10 years, we're really, 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 really in danger of big revolts. Gotta keep an eye on this rebel faction bullshit. To India. We'll have to get access through Bamanis. And he's already willing to give it. But let's get relations up instead of just access. Wait, do we need access to bonus? Oh, no, we don't. We can just walk. Alright, that's fine. France and... Oh, that's right. France and Austria are at war. What the hell war is this? Oh, it's over. No, it's not. France and Austria, what is this? The Milan oh right, the Milanese conquest of Gores. Milan has a claim on Austria and he wants to eat Gores. Wow, who who all's in this war? Milan oh my god, Austria's gonna get fucking wrecked. Wow. France, the Commonwealth, and Milan against Austria and Naples. That's disgusting. Tunis has finished their westernization. All right, Tunis. Not bad. Although he is six texts behind everyone, but that's okay. He finished westernization, man. More trade ships for Lubeck. Why is Lubeck not an option? There it is. We converted Senna. Okay, next up. What kind of fleet does Madurai have? Looks like just four trade ships. We should be fine. We have six trade ships and three have... Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. I'm just going to block him so he can't come over here and fuck with us while we kill his vassal. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just going to eat your face. I guess the nice thing about getting this province is... 
Well, there is no nice thing. I was gonna say it lets us fabricate on shit, but we can we can fabricate on all that shit anyway. And it doesn't really help. All right. Well, there's our army. And the ships might as well get out and block the sea. Oh, mission time. Claim Ijebu. Where the fuck is Ijebu? Oh, that's over here. That's that's England's land, right? Yeah, England took Ijebu. Alright, I'll claim it. 25 military points for free. I'll take that. Can I become the HRE leader? No, because I'm a republic. The, the people can't actually vote for Republic, so we have negative a thousand with everyone because we're a Republic. But we at least got them to have religious freedom, which is kind of cool. Alright, almost have our claim. And I'm just going to declare war a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Just a little bit. And I want to go eat Melindy too. Gosh, it seems like a bad time to do it though. Just because we have um, the plus three revolt risk right now. I really don't like that. Oh shit, Castile desires all of my land. All of my things. He's like, I want it. I deserve it. Alright, he's still coring, so I can't core yet. Kind of frustrating that I can't core my shit simply because my colony can't core or hasn't finished coring his shit yet. Oh well. Hmm, it says someone arrived in Friesland. I assume it's an advisor? Maybe? Midalans Zivlot. I don't know who that is. It's not one of my dudes that I can send out. It's gotta be an advisor. It'd be cool if it said mid... Middle Lanza, Zivlut, and then it would say, like, you know, level 2 theologian or something. It'd be cool if it told you what the fuck they were in this list, but no. That would be too convenient, I guess. Oh, Madurai lost his alliance with Orissa. Perfect. Sounds like you're ripe for the taking. Um, overseas expansion. It's a better CB. Oh, Madurai. You poor bastard. We're sinking his fleet too. Lovely. Too bad we didn't steal any ships, but whatever. Oh wow, insta crush. Don't run away. Oh man. Come on, play. Play with me. Please? Oh, he's gonna play, alright. Let's party, dude. Your 3.0 morale and your 1.5 tactics, you enjoying that? Oh, he didn't die. Damn it. Select the one that's moving. There. Okay. Follow him. Oh, 
All right, diplomats are home. Oh shit, Malacca's over here. Damn it, Malacca. We need to deal with Malacca. We need to deal with Malacca, but we need to deal with all these guys. It's just the timing, you know? We need better timing with all this shit. Can I fabricate on Melindy at all? No, we've already fabricated everything. And his allies are Warsangli and Adal. Okay. I guess I'm okay from Warsangli. He's busy losing to rebels. Hmm. Let's get one more claim on Siak. Yeah. And can I claim Brunei at all? I don't think so. No. But I can claim Majapahi, so I should. Yeah. I need to get the centers of trade down there. Also, I need to improve relations with Orissa. I need improved relations with all the Hindus, because we're going to be eating a bunch of Hindu land here. And I don't want the Hindus to be too upset. Oh, we're almost done with quantity. Nice. Enforce peace on Malacca? No, I don't want to join the same war. I'm okay with them being in separate wars. I'll just declare a separate war on Malacca or something. Historical Dutch overseas territories? Yeah, a little bit. Um... It's unfortunate, when we arrived at Indonesia, everything was all blobbed up. Everything is too big to, to full annex. So taking it all is going to be a series of small conquests here and there. Hey, we finished quantity, and now we can take extra colonist. So nice. So nice. Alright. Where do you want to throw our extra colonists? I think I want Britain to go ahead and get a colony there, so I'm going to leave that alone. France has beat us over here. God damn it, France. And I don't want to get Santee. Maybe I do want to get Santee. No, I don't think I need to. It might be smarter to continue going this way to try to block off Portugal inside here. Well, it's not necessary, is it? Are the cores done? No, the cores are still not done. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's a toughie. Where do I want to put this fucking colonist? I mean, I'm glad I have another colonist, but where the fuck do I want to put this guy? Maybe we just go for the edge here at the tip. It'd be cool. In Vicky too, you can walk back and forth between these islands, but you can't do that in this game. It'd be cool if you could, though. Just for shits and giggles. Like, you can walk between these islands. You can walk from Blamagan to Bali to Lombo, to Sumbawa, to Flores, to Timor. You can just walk between most of this shit. It's kind of neat. Maybe I should just come over here. Four base tax. Yeah, take it. It's pretty good. Ulm has declared war on Austria. That's how you know you've fallen down a few pegs. When Ulm declares war on you and they expect to win, yeah, you're fucked. You are fucked. So he's at war with Milan, Commonwealth, and France, and Aragon, and now Ulm and Bavaria as well. Wow, poor Austria. Do we even have an army, or did France dispatch it? Austria, five troops. Wow. 
Oh my god, my force limit has doubled. Well, welcome to finishing the quality I the quantity idea group. The last thing you get from quantity is land force limits plus 50%. It's huge. It's huge. So our force limits is now 104. Wow. Absent merchant in Lubeck or diplo points in ducats. Um, I think I need the Lubeck there. And we've cord Zimbabwe. Nice. Ah, gold. How many gold provinces do we have now? How many gold provinces? One, two, three, four, five. I have five. But I can get a sixth one in Mosi, and I can get a seventh one here in Malindi. And then eight, nine, and ten are probably all going to be from Peru, assuming there's still gold down there. And we may be able to take the Aztecs. So there you go. There could be that. Oh, it looks like this is gold as well. If we can take over these... Actually, wait. Does that count? If our colonial nation is the one that owns it, does that count towards my gold provinces? Does anyone know? Let me ask in Twitch chat real quick. Does gold in my colony count as or count toward a pile of gold achievement? Anyone in Twitch chat know? Or do I have to own it directly? It doesn't count. Oh, shit. So I have to own it directly. Well, that's going to be more complicated. That means the stuff in Mexico and Peru does not count. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty garbage for me then. Not sure what to do about that, really. Huh, where am I supposed to get gold? Well, there's gold here, one province. I know there's gold in Japan, so we could go get that. But it looks like we're gonna be scrounging for gold. Where the fuck are we gonna get gold? Uh, we could continue to colonize uh, Africa and South uh, Africa and uh, Australia and South Africa because there's always chances of gold there. There's also chances for gold on the west coast of the U of um, of America. So maybe we'll go find some gold in colonies. It's like the easiest war. A couple battles, a couple sieges, and we're done. Yeah, if we only colonize four provinces in Australia or California, then it won't form a colonial nation. You're right. We just gotta get lucky on the gold. Well, that should be enough to peace out, I think. India has a gold province. Conquer Austria. Oh shit, Austria was just elected emperor. Oh wow, no one's voting for Bavaria anymore. Damn it. And we lost our marriage with Bavaria. Okay, we'll have to fix that. Lost a claim on Mossy. That was a gold province. We're going to have to go claim that again. Although there really is no rush. So he's toast. Stupid rebels really want to spawn. Where is this? Manikya and Madanda. Is that here? Yeah, Manikya and Madanda. They want Sunni zealots to spawn. 
I can increase the autonomy here. For some reason, I can increase it there. I can't increase it here, though. I have no idea. Um, but maybe that'll slow it down. Anyway, these, these Hobbio guys, I'm just going to keep harsh treating them. Just because I don't want... Last time they spawned, it was 40-something thousand troops. I don't want to fight that. Oh, Hungary just declared on Austria. Jesus. Everyone's going for Austrian blood right now. So I have two claims. Oh, wow. It says I could full annex. All right, take our claims and some cash, and that's it. Like, why can I increase the autonomy here, but I can't increase it here? I don't understand that. I can increase it here, but I can't increase it here. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Oh, Austria. Take down Austria and get the gold. I think if I did anything with Austria, I would make him release Tyrol. I wouldn't take the gold myself. We finished our colony in Canada. That's fun. Um, where should I send that colonist? I guess we'll continue through Canada. We'll see if we can block off the French advance. Let me recruit a dude here. And we'll go scouting south. But uh, while we're scouting, we might as well colonize next to it. Oh, we found some tea in Middag. Nice. So both of these provinces, both of these colonies have tea. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, how much did that piss off Madurai? Oh my god. Actually, only negative 10. Aggressive expansion. And Orissa? Negative 6. Yeah, they don't really care. They really don't care. That's cool. Paradox logic? Yeah, pretty much. our dude recruited yet? No. Okay, why don't we call this an episode here? So thank you guys for watching. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time where we will probably be declaring on Siak, Malacca, Majapahit, or Brunei. Maybe all of them. I don't know. Uh, we're fabricating on Majapahit. We already have three claims on Siak. We can just transfer the guys from India over here to do the fighting. 20 troops should be enough. Uh, yeah, their techs are pretty bad. 20 troops should be enough, and our navy is certainly strong enough to take out this fleet, I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so long as we actually have control of the seas here, we should be okay. And we just want to take the important centers of trade. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty much, if we get those five provinces, we've got the achievement. But they'll have to wait till next time. I'll see you then. All right, Melindy too. Have a good day.